just Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, storm starting to pull away, but still getting impacts on the back side of it. The wind is still gusty, still some leftover snow for several more hours at times coming down heavy, but sort of in the final stages here. But uh, the winds, while not as strong as they were, say, several hours ago, it's still blowing, gusting anywhere from 35 miles per hour in Smithfield to 40 in Newport to 55 out across Nantucket and all the snow that's on the ground blowing and drifting. This is adding to wind chills as well. It'll stay windy all night long with the magnitude of the uh, wind speeds will be coming down. But for a time, hurricane force out on a Cape Cod and Nantucket, that close to 80 mile per hour wind gusts, Block Island and Quonset, Charlestown, Prudence Island, all coming in uh, close to uh, 50 miles per hour. And Smithfield now has been uh, gusting uh, 40 miles per hour at times. Take a look at, well, the camera shaking in downtown Providence, give you an idea of uh, how gusty the wind is. Still some reduced visibility and some of that blowing snow. We've got about another roughly two to three hours worth of snow before things start to wind down. So what we anticipate is one more heavy band of snow that we're tracking now crossing the Connecticut Rhode Island border to be coming through. It's not going to last very long, but it may put down an additional inch of snow. Very windy, still getting gusts this evening on that 35 to 50 range, uh, blowing and drifting of the snow that's on the ground. Temperatures have been dropping off now about 25 to 27. Uh, wind chills now in the teens, and unfortunately, this is going to be a big, big factor come tomorrow. Extremely, unfortunately, cold air on the way late tonight, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. In fact, a wind chill watch has been issued for Friday. See this darker strip of green along Route 395, Connecticut, Rhode Island border. This is tracking off now to the east and southeast. John and Boroughville indicating that the heavy snow has resumed. Uh, so this band of heavy snow uh, crossing uh, the border very shortly. Elsewhere you see it's completely shut off or it's very light and then another thin strip of heavy snow. So this is the final stage this little area of dark green approaching from eastern Connecticut may put down an additional inch of snow and then finally things will be winding down, but the wind will stick around all night long and that frigid blast of air on the way for Friday right on through the weekend. We're talking about sub zero wind chills beginning Friday and as cold as it gets, we're actually talking about a warm up next week where we could be pushing of all things 40 degrees. Satellite and radar composite shows the back edge of the storm with one more band of snow. You can see it spinning off the coastline. Just incredible intensification, rapid intensification over the last uh, 12 to 18 hours as it's now anchored off Cape Cod and will be moving to the northeast into Nova Scotia with hurricane force winds. Uh, certainly one for the record books as far as intensification. Futurecast shows the storm pulling away into the Canadian Maritimes with drier air working in. I wouldn't rule out a flurry or a snow shower at 10 o'clock. This should not be uh, very heavy. And the continuation of clearing skies, gusty wind and colder air working in. This is 7 o'clock in the morning. It's one of those days with ineffective sunshine, windy and frigid. The actual air temperature never gets much higher than, say, 15 degrees, and the wind chills will be running below zero. In fact, that'll be the big weather story for tomorrow. Back into the deep freeze. Watch the temperatures this evening as we take it through the overnight. By tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., 8 degrees above zero. These are not wind chills, but actual air temperatures. Only 10 to 15 during the afternoon sets the stage for extremely cold weather and bitter cold wind chills Friday evening and into Friday night. So leftover snow for about another roughly one to three hours, then dry drying out but remaining windy and cold at 11 o'clock 18 degrees tomorrow morning. It is quite cold but with some sunshine frigid temperatures starting off in the uh, single digits to around 10 and then during the afternoon not much higher than 15 degrees. Seven day future cast shows the deep freeze Friday right on through the weekend before temperatures start to moderate by Monday and Tuesday with readings in the upper 30s to lower 40s. Uh, statewide picking up anywhere from nine to as much as 15 inches of snow. A few more hours, say another two to three hours, and the snow should be coming to an end. This was an impressive storm. Yeah, especially considering it was only really 12 hours worth yeah. of snow, but a lot of it. All right. Thank you, Tony. And it's no surprise that this January storm is wreaking havoc.